Hello everyone, this is Tug. Sometimes it's the simpler things in life that have the most charm, and today I want to present you with a simpler game that gives you that same charm. I'm talking about an episodic anthology indie horror game that popped up on itch.io recently. It's planned to have at least 5 episodes, each of which are 20 minutes long or less, and while the stories between each episode differ greatly, the narrative between them all is the same. Someone who makes it out alive to tell his or her story. That is, if you as the player make the right choices. The first episode is free to play, which is what I'll be covering today. More episodes are coming soon, and will also be on Steam when they do arrive, so be sure to keep up with that. I have links for everything below this video. Alright, we start off with episode 1, Home Alone. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. It was the middle of summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day, though I did plan on fixing that. You wake up around 8 after taking an evening nap, and you plan to have some friends over to finish some chemistry homework that's due tomorrow. Pause. The first thing you noticed about this game is how the narration subtitles are all in the past tense. Like, everything you do ends up being part of his Reddit post recounting the story. I thought that was a pretty cool attention to detail. Before you can do your homework, you have to eat some dinner. You get a text from your mom. She left lasagna for you in the fridge downstairs. Thanks, mom. Your text history also establishes that you've invited some friends over for homework. That's a strange way to spell homework. On your way downstairs, you accidentally discover a mechanic in the game that lets you peek the blinds. Wow, why would you ever need to do that? That seems foreboding. But it's not like it's a horror game, so we know that it probably means nothing. You decide to creep into your parents' bedroom, and under the bed you find a lightsaber. You peer out the window and you see somebody chilling in their driveway. No big deal. Well, except for the fact that it's actually your driveway. You brush it off. It's lasagna time, baby. After dinner, Mason texts you back and he hits you with the something just came up. Bummer, you'll be at the house all alone tonight. I hope nothing wacky and or unusual happens. You've gotten your brain food, so now it's time to knock out your homework. A few hours pass. At last, you get a good night's sleep, uninterrupted. Just kidding. You wake up and your mouth feels like the literal Sahara. Logically, the only solution to dry land is rainfall, so you let that rainfall in the form of a bottle that's large enough to kill two turtles in one fell swoop. But that's not before being interrupted by a text from your mom. Someone's at the front door. From the picture, you can tell it's that guy who was stalking your driveway earlier. You know that nothing good can come from doorbell ringers at 1 in the morning, so your fight or flight kicks in. The first step is to hide under your bed. But then you get curious. Mom shoots some more texts your way. Your next door neighbor Paula says that this man has been creeping through your windows and that the cops are on their way. The doorbell's still ringing though. All you have to do is go back to hiding and wait things out. But mom texts again. Oh, thank goodness. It's just Paula at the door then we should be free to run downstairs to safety. Wrong. That glass breaking sound you heard earlier was actually the master bedroom. You die if you try and go downstairs, and the game quits on itself. Now, the proper way to win the game is just by staying hid under the bed until the cops show up. And I want to point out something that I don't understand. While eating lasagna on the couch, you can see somebody creeping up the staircase as if he's already broken into the house. That's pretty early on in the game. But then if you go upstairs later, nobody's there. And then he shows up at the front door, and then somehow breaks into the upstairs window, jumps in, and hides there until you try to go downstairs. The only way that this works is if there's more than one person breaking in. But even then, where would the staircase creeper have gone? That's a question I can't answer, but maybe the developer had something else in mind. Besides that, there's a lot to love about this short little horror experience. It's got a unique narration style in the format of a reddit post retelling a story. It's simple and it has some interactive elements that change the storytelling in minor ways. 
And let's be honest, the aesthetic is great. From the main menu to the end text, it looks very polished for such a small little game. And there's more episodes to come in the future, which you'll be able to find on Steam. If you have the spare time and you want to check it out, I really think you should. And I've linked the itch.io and Steam pages in the description below. It's a cool little experience, and I appreciate you watching this video and making it to the end. I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye. Thank you.